Cada vez que pienso en ti, me siento como el cielo. No puedo dejar de pensar en ti. Cada vez que pienso en ti, me siento como el cielo. No puedo dejar de pensar en ti. This is going to be um, in a light red sauce, uh, tomatoy sauce. Okay, not a peppery one. I've had enough pepper. <laughs> I'm not a, a spicy girl. I'm not a spice girl. I'm not good with heat or any type of pepper, really. I can tolerate just so much of it. And the beef tamales that I made, although they came out delicious out of this world, delicious. Uh, yeah, that, that did it for me on pepper, even though it was not hot. So, menudo. What is menudo? Your main ingredient. Beef tripe, or what we call toalla. Uh, you buy a... About two to three pounds of it. It comes all well wrapped up. And uh, it's the cow stomach. And sometimes they call it honeycomb tripe. Because you see the lining looks like honeycomb. So it also to us looks like a towel. So we call it toalla in Spanish. But anyway, two to three pounds, and you cut it into like inch pieces, inch size pieces, or bite size pieces. Um, you clean it out, you remove whatever fat's on there. Um, I clean it out with vinegar and lime, rinse it out with cold water really well a few times. Then you bring a pot of water to boil. 
You don't put anything in it. And you want to boil this for at least an hour um, to get it nice and soft, chewable, uh, edible. And um, you don't want to time your hour until the water is actually boiling, okay? It doesn't count at this, you know, at this point, at this stage, I should say. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to wait till that comes to a boil. I'm going to drop these in and boil it for about an hour, and I shall bring you all back. I also wanted to let you all know that I'm making these not with hominy, but with field peas and snaps. Seasoned field peas and snaps. Okay, that's what I'm making mine with. You can actually make yours with whatever you want. I mean, there's various different recipes. All I have to do is... Uh, or to suggest all I have to suggest is make it your own that is the purpose of my channel that's my message when you get in that kitchen get creative change things you know try things out that's what creative cooking is all about all right so this is about coming to a boil I'm going to go ahead and throw these in and I'll bring you back within an hour let me go ahead and put the timer on for about an hour and five minutes and I shall bring you back. Okay, got 15 seconds left. I went ahead and put in about half a cup of, I'm sorry, a quarter cup of beef broth. I'm getting ready to put in some Maggie chicken broth. About a quarter cup. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I put in some bay leaves also. And I'm getting ready to put in some sofrito. I'm going to taste the texture of this menudo. Okay. I got one out. I'm going to let it cool off. It's very hot. In the meantime, I'm going to put the sofrito, about two tablespoons, okay? If you want a little spicy, put in what you want as far as peppers or puree of peppers. I'm going to put in a little bit of my mojo, about half a cup. Let me taste the meat, the panceta. Okay, I'm going to test it. It feels still a little tough. Not bad. It could stand to boil some more. Just depends on how you like it. If you like it uh, a little chewy, that's fine. If, if you like it all the way soft, I like it all the way soft. So I'm going to put in some water and let it boil. About another half hour or so, and then I'll add the rest of the ingredients and let that also absorb some of that seasoning I just put in there. Um, it doesn't need any salt. I am going to add some turmeric, about a teaspoon, and some cumin. A teaspoon. Some garlic and onion powder. This is a mix. About a teaspoon. Gonna add some 
cilantro. And I'll add some fresh cilantro towards the towards the end. And I'm gonna add some smoked paprika. Okay, this is some dry leaves, dry cilantro. Smoked paprika, about a tablespoon. I'm sorry, half a tablespoon. We'll be adding a sprinkle of adobo, just a little teaspoon. And I'm going to let this cook down for another half hour. And then I'll add the rest of the ingredients, which are the field peas and potatoes. I'll probably put some carrots in there too. Don't know. Feeling my way on that one. All right, so let me put this on for 30 minutes. And I shall bring you all back. Okay, well, there's three minutes left. I'm going to lower. The heat on this. I just got done with the uh, black strap baked barbecue uh, baked uh, beans with uh, brisket. So. That's been done. This is with freezers included and then one stand up deep freeze can you believe this did on our roof every year it's like the same thing same issue not enough room alright baked beans I'll just put BB All right, that goes in the fridge. All right, so here we have, as you can see, it's already got its own sauce, but it's salau, which means we have to add some water because it kind of boiled down to almost nothing trying to get that meat sauce. That tripe sauce, which it is, by the way. So I'm going to add two cups of water, and that should do it. I'm going to add my field peas and snap beans. Get everything from the bottom. Like I said, you know, usually this um, is made with guajillas or some kind of red pepper, red peppers and, uh, you know, spicy. And 
for some reason, Harmony Grits, although what I hear is that the original recipe for menudo doesn't come with Harmony. But anyway, like I said, Puerto Rican style. And there's some butter. This is looking so good. Could you imagine this over for some arroz con gandules or over a bed of white rice? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So we've got those in there. And we're going to let this slow cook. And throw these cans away. And I'm going to cut up my potatoes. Now, I went ahead and peeled about a five-pound bag of potatoes because I'm also, I also have to make mashed potatoes. So I'm going to seal a couple from there and slice them up. And put them in the pot. I still have... Eh, I don't know about carrots. I don't think I'm going to do carrots. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. So. Let me get my... Start slicing these potatoes. Let's see how many we're going to use. We want pretty big chunks. We don't want real small chunks. So about that size. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. See the size of potato. So what you do is you take a side potato. And you cut it the long ways in half. And you slice nice big chunks on each half. Usually in three, unless it's a really big potato. Then, you know, you just judge from there. Okay. I think one more, and that should do it. If I had um, some calabaza, you know, fresh pumpkin or some other kind of verdura, I would do that. But you know what I do have? I just thought about. Platanos. So, I am going to make little plantain balls. In the meantime, here's some pimento stuffed olives. I've got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, ten in there. Okay. I say tuna. Pimento. Mm. Love that. So, Let's get on with this. All right, we're gonna need one of these. Move you back a little bit. Bring this over here. Okay, I'm gonna do everything right on my cutting board. Okay, so you cut off the ends. I heard that to prevent plantains and other bananas from going 
turning dark, so you put it in milk. That's what I've heard before you cook it. I don't know how true that is. I guess the milk does something to it. Okay. So, we want the smallest hole, which is on the side. Okay. And... Let's see if I can do this without the camera falling flat down. Doesn't seem to be moving, so. Okay. And we're going to just grate into the finest hole. It's going to come out like a, what we call babosa kind of masa. A gooey, I guess. Slimy kind of masa. Things are slippery. So I'm just going to rest. Alright, so I'm going to finish this up here. I'll bring you right back. Okay, so then what we're left with is this masa right here. So to that, I'm going to add just a tablespoon of flour, of course some seasoning, not a lot because we don't have a lot here. I'm going to add a little bit of adobo, just a little half a teaspoon, and just a little bit of sasso, not a lot, about half a teaspoon, just like that, and save the rest, okay, then we're going to mix this up. It got a nice color. Oh yeah. Make sure you get that sasso mixed in there really well. If you want to add garlic and onion powder, you can do that. I'm gonna leave mine just like this. Missing a little bit. It's kind of like almost like you're gonna make masa for pastel, which is pretty much this could be it too. Just a couple of drops of achote oil and a poquito sabon give it a little bit of savor taste flavor okay oh look at that texture so much better and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make dumplings plantain dumplings that's what this is gonna be And make sure those flavors are incorporated in there real good. It takes a while for it to blend to be absorbed. Okay. Then you 
take and you shape little plantain balls. You get all your hands and do it with your hands. There we go. Now we got some height. And you just drop in your little dumplings, your little plantain dumplings. Just drop it right in there. And that's it. Plantain dumplings are done. Okay. All right. I'm going to bring this up to uh, six. Let that boil a little bit. Don't want to disturb anything until it cooks. All right, so we have... All our ingredients in, the field peas and snacks. We have our potatoes in and we made some use of our plantain banana. So, now it's left for it to cook. And then after it cooks, we'll add some enchilada sauce, okay? Just to give it a little bit of authenticity. How about that? And it'll be out of this world delicious, as I say. So I am going to cover this. And if I can find the right way, it is. And let it simmer until it cooks. Hupster is taking a nap. So I've got time yet. You'll have a little taste of this with uh, some of the cornbread uh, dressing. I made a little separate tray for them. All right, so that's it. And then the next thing I'm going to do is cut up these potatoes and um, put them in a container with water and salt and put them in the refrigerator until it's time to make the mashed potatoes that morning. Okay, I'm also making the rice that morning, the fire rice that morning, and a salad. What else am I making that morning? Just the rice, the mashed potatoes. We've got to make the same day. You can't make those ahead of schedule. I mean, you can, but it just doesn't taste the same. So, let's see. Oh, I'm 
and no luck. I scratched that off the list. That's done. Yeah. That's it. Oh, and the turkey. That's it. Tomorrow, I'll season the turkey, put it back in the refrigerator. I'll bring you along and show you how I do that. And, of course, it's going to be Puerto Rican style. All right, it's the only way I know. <laughs> Got to stick with what you know. All right, it hasn't failed me yet, so. Anyway, it's not, nothing wrong with trying new things every once in a while. But when it comes to the holidays, you stick to tradition. You know, you stick to, I mean, you can make a dish here and there that's new and different and try, you know. That's always exciting. Do a different one or two every year from other cultures. It's always good to try other foods, you know. But always stick to your heritage. Don't lose. That's what's wrong with a lot of kids today. They have no idea on how to cook the delicious foods according to their heritage or their race. And we each have something special to bring to the table. You know, besides strife and combination. There is such good things. You know, there are things out there that exist that are good. And we have to stick to that. And we can't lose sight of those things. And we have to teach it to our kids. You know? That way to carry on the traditions and... So they don't get lost in this big world. Anyway, that's my two cents. <laughs> I love you all in Christ. Stay blessed. I'll be back with the final presentation of my menudo, my menudo. You see the plantains, they swell up. That's why I had to I was doing them little. I should have done them even smaller, but that's fine. I'll be back. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. We've got our menudo all set up. And it is good to go just the way it is. See how beautiful that is? Here's the dumplings, the platano dumplings. Okay, right there. There. Bring it closer. Okay, so all I got to do is just add some of this enchilada sauce. It's in. And there's my red. And I have some cilantro right here that I'm just going to cut up real quick. This rough shop chop. Okay, just sprinkle all around. Okay. Okay. And we have menudo. We have menudo, guys. Puerto Rican style menudo. Isn't that beautiful?
Yes. All right. That's everything. So you all make yourself some. Try this recipe out. This is going to be another one of the dishes for my Thanksgiving. Uh, on my Thanksgiving menu. And we're doing Indigenous American, as I've stated. Which is what Thanksgiving is. Uh, we're also going to add some corn on the cob. To uh, the little niblets, not the big, big ones. But um, that's all she wrote for right now. Uh, I did my strawberry cheesecake um, with the triple sugar wafer cookies. You know, the chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry cookies. I did that as a crumb with some honey, a little bit of sugar, and vanilla uh, extract. Uh, brown sugar and vanilla extract. I did that as the cookie crumb for that cheesecake. It's going to be a strawberry cheesecake. So it's baking right now. And uh, hopefully everything will turn out well. I'm sure it will. I've got some strawberries that I can adorn it with and some Cool Whip. I was going to do a Chantilly icing, but I have too many pies for that. So I'm just going to buy a few cans of that Ready Whip and just have a go with that. But anyway, please give me a thumbs up. Poke that subscribe button on my new channel. Okay? And turn on that notification bell. Ding, ding. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new recipe. Okay? So, um, and I still have more to go. Let's see. I think I have about five or six more dishes to go. I'm not sure. Something like that. But I'll bring you along to those that never did migrate over from Facebook originally. All right. Until the next one, God bless you all. Stay well. Love one another. Especially love yourselves. Bye.